Hello friends, it is actually Monday now. I realise I did not close off the vlog on Friday. Yeah, the week was quite hectic because it was my second last week before leaving. Yeah, I did not feel much. I was not feeling great. I was feeling pretty exhausted, to be honest, because we had a lot of things to do. Yesterday, I was actually working because we submitted the paper. So this is my second first author paper and finally after a long time of you guys oh those birds are chirping after a long time of you guys hearing me speak about this paper it is finally submitted so you have to cross your fingers that the paper gets accepted so it's just a case of waiting now and seeing what happens to be honest i'm not quite sure how this week is going to pan out so this is my final week here in france before i return to the uk which is absolutely crazy because i feel like this time is just gone by so so quickly i will do a bit of reflecting later on about how this trip has been but overall it has been an absolute success i am so happy with all of the data that i've managed to collect however it is not over yet uh it's the final week but we have a lot of things that we still want to try and do this week and thursday is a public holiday friday might be a holiday as well we might not be able to come in so i might only have monday tuesday and wednesday to get everything done Ugh. so it's going to be very very busy but today we're going to be trying to do a different bioassay so we have to cross our fingers that everything goes to plan or else we might be in the danger zone so i have finished my breakfast i'm going to meditate and then i'm going to walk to the university i also exercised this morning i am keeping up my fitness regime so feeling good feeling ready to attack the week and feeling a lot better than i did last week <laughs> Hello friends, I did not film anything today, but I am here to give you a little update. So today wasn't as hectic as I had expected it to be because we couldn't find the protocol for one of the tests that we wanted to try and do this week before I leave. I tried to look at different sources online, but I could not find a protocol that would tell me the volumes of the different reagents, of the enzyme, of everything that I needed to use. It gave me the concentrations, but then I didn't know, you know, like how much of the substrate to use, how much of the enzyme I needed. So there was a lot of information that was missing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy the enzyme now and I'm going to do the assay when I go back to the UK because thankfully from my time here I have learned a lot about enzymatic assays which I did not know before so I now have that knowledge and once I managed to get the protocol because I've requested it basically they wrote a paper recently um, and one of the authors on the paper from a different university has the protocol because they did the, the assay there. So it's a bit of a process, but it's quite good because it means that this week is actually a lot less hectic for me. We're going to run a minimum inhibitory concentration assay for some of the successful samples from the enzyme assay I did last week, a different enzyme. And we finished the algae stuff today, finally. There is still one algae which um, we've had problems with growing, so Lilia is going to continue that for me when I leave, which is great, and she's going to send me the results. And I need to prepare lots of plates for larval settlement assays. So that's my plan tomorrow, and yeah, I've only got tomorrow and Wednesday left in the lab, and then that's me done, which is kind of crazy. But today I got a chance to analyze some data in the afternoon, and to write up some methods. So it was quite nice having a bit more of a relaxed afternoon and not being in the lab full steam ahead like I have been for the last five weeks. <laughs> so yeah, sorry that I didn't have much to show you today. As you can see, I am absolutely glowing because it's like 1000 degrees. I will show you around the lab tomorrow when we are doing the enzymatic assay. The other one, the successful one, not the one that I don't know the protocol for. <laughs> I have just been preparing fresh samples because I need to prepare these larval settlement plates for the assay that they're going to do when I go back to the UK. And it's cool because it uses 24 well plates because of course you need to put the larvae inside so they have to be a lot bigger than the 96 wells. So I have all of my plates here, I'm going to plate them up and yeah, I'll leave them for Lilia to do once I'm back in Scotland, which I am very, very grateful for.
Hello friends, so I realise that I haven't really told you too much about what has happened today. What is going on with my hair? Um, so it was an interesting day to say the least. This morning, I think I told you that I was doing the minimum inhibitory concentration study for one of the enzymatic assays that I'm doing and everything was going well. We had to use the instrument before 12 because someone else had to use it. And basically I put everything into the plate, I put the samples in, I put the substrate in, then I was adding the enzyme and I had maybe 10 more wells to add the enzyme to of the 96 well plate. And a piece of ice fell in the enzyme, which meant that I couldn't use the enzyme anymore. And um, because I hadn't finished putting the enzyme into the plate, it meant that I did not have a control, so I could not get the results for any of the samples. So basically two and a half hours worth of work was just put to waste. So that was frustrating, but I did not let it get me down for the rest of the day because I had many other things to do. So other than that, I was preparing plates, which I think I showed you the 24 well plates um, for the larval settlement assay that Lilia will do when I leave. However, I'm unsure how much DMSO I can have in my samples and I've been trying to look at literature to find out how DMSO affects lar larvae of oysters and can't really seem to find very much. So I might have to try and change some things tomorrow. I might need to make some additional plates. I might need to re-prepare re some of the samples that have a high DMSO percentage. It's annoying when you have to prepare things in advance and I can't be there to actually do the assay and see how the larvae respond to the DMSO and then prepare new plates if I need to. Everything literally needs to be ready before the end of tomorrow because it is my final full day in the lab. Little bit stressed, but it's okay, <laughs> hopefully. So tonight I'll probably do a little bit of work just to plan for tomorrow because tomorrow afternoon I will have to run that assay again that I didn't get to do this morning and that means tomorrow morning I will need to prepare all of the plates. There's a chance that we might be able to come on Friday even though the university's closed so at least that will give me a bit more time with like the public holiday and everything going on to actually finish preparing the larval settlement plates before I leave. Anyway, I've just blabbed on for a few minutes there. Hope that gives you an indication of what happened today and I will speak to you guys in the lab tomorrow. So this is one of the experiments I want to do when I return to Scotland. So it's using brine shrimp, which are basically, if you're from the UK, they are sea monkeys. <laughs> uh, we used to get them as kids. They're like the easiest thing ever to grow, but we didn't have time to do the assay here. But the papers are really complicating everything and making it seem really complicated to do the testing but apparently it's actually very very simple i've been watching videos on youtube my brother has aquariums so he knows how to grow these because i think some types of fish eat them so i don't understand why the papers are making the method sound so complicated and so fancy welcome to academia and that is my food ready so i'm going to eat lunch <laughs> Hello, today is not going well. I have prepared the same bioassay plate four times because something has gone wrong every time. I don't know if I'm tired or what, but I'm making stupid mistakes and then the next time, well, and then the last time the temperature of the machine was not going down, so hopefully it hasn't affected the results. I'm going to go and check now, but fingers crossed it's worked because this is the fourth time. I've prepared this plate and if it hasn't worked I'll have to do it again on Friday for the fifth time. Hi friends, I'm not gonna lie today's not been the best day. The bioassay, I can't remember what I told you earlier on but I was doing the bioassay for like the fourth time today. I messed up in the morning because I did not prepare enough enzyme. I did my calculation completely wrong so I ran out of enzyme halfway through putting it into the plate so that was fun. And then I spent like 40 minutes re-preparing the plate again and someone had used it, the instrument before I needed to use it. 
it was at 37 degrees. It was taking a very, very long time to cool down. And the reaction had basically started before I could put the plate in the spectrophotometer. Yeah, I prepared it twice. And the results from the second time were garbage, as I thought they would be, because of the temperature. And yeah, so I need to do it again on Friday. So that's rubbish. So tomorrow is a public holiday. I think I mentioned that before. So we are not going to the lab tomorrow. And Friday is the final day. Tonight, I actually have a meeting in about an hour for this mentorship program that I'm doing. So I'm a mentor for uh, the girls in science group, basically. And it's a six week program, I believe. And I have a mentee and we are going to do a research project together as part of the program. So we have our first meeting tonight, which is very, very exciting. So I'm just preparing dinner and then I'm going to have that meeting and then I'm going to chill out. We might go and watch the fireworks tonight, me and Lilia because the Maritime Festival is on at the moment and apparently there is a fireworks show tonight. So I'm feeling quite tired. We'll see how I feel. I think Lilia is also feeling pretty tired. So if we go, you will see footage. If we don't go, then there will be no footage. I think I'm going to go and check out the festival tomorrow. So I will show you guys some of that. Yeah, next day in the lab will not be tomorrow. It will be Friday. Hi friends, it's Thursday and I'm going to go and check out the Maritime Festival. Everything is closed, all of the shops, everything are closed. Yeah, there's not much going on really. I think there's, there's some cafes open, so I'm going to try and grab lunch somewhere a little bit later on. But for now, let's go down to the port and see the boats and see what's going on with the festival because I haven't checked it out yet. And as you can see, it's a lovely day. It's not as hot as it has been. It's maybe around... 22 degrees which is just perfect to be honest because last week it was a little bit hot it was oh sorry it's very windy last week it was quite hot it was like 33 degrees at one point so i'm quite grateful for the cooler weather it's much easier to sleep anyway let's go to the port and see what's happening hello little update i just went for a beer just a half beer uh half pint um, and I had Brewdog, which is a beer that actually comes from Aberdeen and it's really nice to find a home comfort like that here in France. I know I should be drinking like French beer to immerse myself in the culture, but I've drank a lot of French beer while I've been here and it was just quite nice to drink something from back home, you know? friends happy friday i just finished preparing the larval settlement plates so they're all finished now you might remember there was a mountain here before of black plates which i was using for the algae they're all in the bin i've saved the lids in case they want to use them i'm just drying off these plates evaporating the solvent and i'm keeping these just now in case i need them um, but at the end of the day if i haven't used them again and have decided i don't need them then they will also go in the waste so yeah, end of an era, we're almost finished. Hello, just had lunch and now I'm going to check the results of the assay from this morning. This is the one that I've literally done four or five times now and I know that it was going well, so that's good at least. But just to see if my compounds are active at lower concentrations. I am ready to go back to Scotland now. I've really enjoyed my time here, but 
yeah, I am ready to go back and continue my work there, see all of my friends, family, everyone. Yeah, so it's been quite a relaxed day today. Well, we've been busy, but not like crazy hectic busy. So that's good for the last day. I also need to get the names of some instruments and find out where some of the chemicals were from, because that is very important if you're writing a paper or for writing your thesis. So that is on my to-do list for this afternoon also. But for now, let's check the data. So I was very pleased because the assay finally worked after trying about five different times. I got my samples all packed up back into their box, ready to take back to Scotland. I cleared up everything from the bench, so all of the tubes, all of the petri dishes as you saw earlier. Everything got emptied into the waste, which was quite sad. It was a bittersweet moment. It was the end of all of the sample preparation, all of the plate making, all of the, well, all of the assay work for now <laughs> in France. And yeah, it felt good to be cleaning up, but also sad at the same time. So here is the fume hood looking nice and clean, me waving goodbye, me grabbing my samples and leaving the lab. Thank you so much for watching and see you back in Aberdeen.